So hello and welcome back to Test Drive Thursday. Today we're taking our first look at the, I've got no idea how to pronounce this properly, but is it the Mag Magirus Duts? Magirus Duts? I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it as I said, but thank you for Dirt ETS2 for um, telling me about this mod. I will be taking a look at it on a cheap truck heavy trailer video. Stay tuned for that in the near future. But yeah, let's start by taking a look at all of the customization on this truck. Now, if you travel to the Paris truck dealer, which is usually Renault, when you install this mod, it changes it to an MTG uh, garage. And the only truck you can get in here is this truck. Um, I think these are some of the other trucks that the author has made on the wall. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty useful um, how that's the case. But yeah, only, only one truck in here, so let's start by customising it. Um, let's go to the cabin. Now, there's only one cabin. It's very, very boxy, this. And the proportions are quite weird. Um, the size of the cabin is pretty much the same sort of length as the bonnet here. And it's very, very boxy. From the front, it almost looks like a cab over it if you squint. Um because of the sort of dimensions of it but yeah it's a very unusual looking truck uh, with this cabin very small as well um, chassis only a 6x4 but just look at the detail I tried to um, sort of show you some of it on the intro but all the sort of rivets the bolts even down to the grease on the um, fifth wheel we've got a update mod with um, for one point 3 one with this truck so the uh, lines here should work I'll link all the mods and the update mod in the mod spreadsheet and the link to the mod spreadsheet is in the description if you want to check out this mod but yeah this does work with 131 two different engines we got a 182 and a 280 that's quite a difference really uh, 280 horsepower is that right He's put the um, comma in the wrong place. So 665 newton meters of torque um, between 1500 and 1680 uh, RPMs. And here we've got 1000 newton meters of torque at the sort of same point. Tune V8, both V8s, they sound epic. Um, so yeah, we'll see what it's like to drive later on. Uh, four different transmissions, two 12 speeds with or without retarder, two 16 speeds. I doubt this truck would have a, a retarder anyway, so um, I'll probably go with that today. Cabin, again, very, very high quality. When you turn around, you do sort of get thrown about a bit over here, and you can't go back. But yeah, just look at the... up here. In fact, textures up here aren't great, but on the dash, on the floor... Door cards are pretty good. Um, this is very cool. I love the wheel. Uh, but yeah, there's only one option with this sort of weird fabric looking seat. Very, very upright. Look at that. Um, colors, you got a custom metallic in here, but I'd probably go for a standard color. I doubt this truck would have a metallic. Now, onto the options. Not many, uh, but starting off down here, there's six different bumpers. Um, go here. Almost looks like a frog. That I'm not sure. I'm not sure I like it. Um, and then you got this different style. So yeah, it's up to you in paint red for some reason. Um, yeah, two different styles down there. Uh, you can move the logo to onto the grill uh, or down here, and with or without the uh, sort of logo. I do like it on the grill. I think it looks quite smart. Um, back here, what's that? Oh, a little handle. Um, or the grill colour, plastic. I do like it plastic because then you can have a look into the uh, engine bay. And that's so cool. It's so detailed. You've got all the engine block in there. You can see it. Fan at the front. Sadly, the fan doesn't move about. Um, yeah, I think chrome doesn't suit it. And paint, you just can't see through it. So I'd go plastic on that. Uh, right, what we got? We can change that to red, plastic, paint. Um, what's that? Oh, you can put the flags on. 
bit of a weird place to put the flags, I suppose. Uh, what's this? Have we done that? Um, that's on the inside. Can't change that. Tires are cool. They're very detailed. I'll be this go for them. I don't think you can change it, you know. I think you pretty much have to go for red. I feel like I'm missing some options. Or you can change the uh, wheel arches. Very industrial looking. Um, got the sun visor. Um, this is air colour. I think these are. Um, oh, what they're called? Snorkels. It's just come to me. I think they're called snorkels. Uh, two on each side. They're very cool. Paint or plastic. I do prefer it plastic. I think it breaks up the um, lines a bit better. Um, got sat nav, very useful because obviously there's not a built in one. Um, you can change the location of the exhaust stacks or none at all. In fact, it comes out here instead. So, yeah, that's up to you. We'll block a little bit of your visibility. Um, right in here, you can have a passenger uh, on the dashboard. We've got various items to just stick on. Uh, flags, dashboard stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much it though. The rest of it is just all oh, mirror colour. Sat nav, we've done that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So now I'm going to do a time lapse of me, build me building this truck to my spec. Okay then, so here we are, all fully configured, and we have got a trailer on the back. Now, I've noticed that the um, sort of wires aren't connected um, for some reason. I've got no idea why. I've got all the updates on. Maybe I've got the mod, or, uh, mod order wrong, but and maybe it's this trailer as well. I do think it's a standard SCS trailer, um, so I'm sure that isn't the case. Um... But yeah, it's a bit weird why it's not working, but I went with a sort of turquoisey bluish with the red sort of down the bottom. I think it looks quite nice. Uh, the logo on the grill. Uh, if we jump on, jump in on the inside, very high quality in here, as I said earlier. Manual, we've got the three pedals. Um, nothing, too, well, much going on the dials, basically. Let's just turn that off. Um fuel top left You've got a clock in the middle goes up to 120 kph the rev counter is over there which is a bit annoying because it's sort of blocked if you um get in the wrong seating position the wheel is so thin and, and it's so wide as well there's hardly any protection from the outside i mean just look how thin the doors are um so i wouldn't really want to get in an accident in one of these so we've got in here we've got the sort of main driver's seat and then we've got this sort of bench kind of seat here great visibility out the back uh, which would be really good for reversing um but yeah let's get this thing started up we've got the i don't know if you saw that let me just turn it off got the key there um what's the buttons for the lights no they don't they don't come on really they show up there um, wipers. Oh, that's a horn. There's the wipers. There we go. They work. Um, oh, there's the light button. I was wrong. It does work. Um, then you got all the sort of warning lights up there. Um, like hazards. I believe we've got. I believe we've got some diff locks as well. But sadly, they won't work in this game. 
Um, no idea what that red light's for. I'm guessing if it's um, when you run out of fuel. But yeah, let's get going. Let's put it in gear. Got that V8 engine. Oh, got the parking brake on. The sort of early gears are very close together. Which is kind of annoying. Because you get through them so quick. But yeah, this 280 horsepower has got plenty of... Um, energy to get you down the road. Probably can start off in 4th or whatever. What I'm noticing with this speedo, it gives you... That's why it felt so quick. <laughs> I've disconnected the trailer. Well, wow, that was clever. Hang on. This is not going well. At least we can test a um, test a turning circle. No, not quite. Didn't manage it. How did I? I, I don't think I disconnected that. Did I? I must have knocked the button or something, but I, I was I'm thinking, this really goes. But yeah, look behind me, there's no trailer. That was good. But yeah, what I was saying, because the um, speedo doesn't go up very high and it goes up in 20 kph, it gives the illusion that you're really flying. I mean, look how quickly it goes up across. Maybe the um, things will work this time. Let's just back up to this. No, it's still not working. Hmm. I don't know. Let's get out of here for the second time. We definitely got it. I mean, when you sort of go external, it really sort of shows how small this truck is compared to the trailer. So cool. We've got, also got the indicators on the um, arches as well. Let's try and get through these lights. Yeah, but it still doesn't seem that slow. It's kind of hard to know what gear you're in. This is no sort of readout or anything. No digital display apart from the external sat nav. Yeah, it's definitely fun to drive. It sounds pretty nice as well. Then we can beat this MAN. Let's put it in second. This will be a real test. Old versus new. Oh, yeah, we're beating him. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Where's the horn? Yeah, so it's definitely got plenty of power. Um, probably because it's so light. I mean, there's, as I said, there's hardly any safety features in here. It's super basic. I bet there's, like, no sound insulation or anything. No idea how old this truck is in real life, but uh, I guess maybe like 70s or 60s. I've got no idea, but yeah, very basic dials. As I said, no digital displays or anything. It's definitely very cool to drive. I mean, we're in what 12th gear here, and it's cruising at 90 um, kbh, completely fine. Usually in these older trucks, they feel very um, sort of dangerous almost at this kind of speed but th this is doing what about 1700 rpms it's not too loud I mean in, in most trucks of this age it's like this at this speed but yeah it's completely fine in fact let's see what speed we can actually do no idea how accurate this uh, readout is fairly accurate so we've done a hundred 
doing 110 and I think that's about it it's not giving me much more than that so 70 miles an hour about 112 kph and yeah that's about it but yeah you don't need to go that quick anyway so it doesn't matter let's just bring it back down to 90 Seems a bit of engine braking. There we go. But yeah, it's not a bad sound. It's quite raw. It's not like a scammy V8 or anything. You can hear everything going on. Yeah, let's have a quick look from the outside. I just really like the proportions of this thing. I think it's so cool and so upright. I mean, look at where the guy's sitting. I don't know if you can see that, but <laughs> yeah, it's right in front of the wheel. Yeah, it's definitely a fun truck to drive. As I said, I'm going to be doing a uh, test drive, not test drive Thursday, that's today. I'm going to be doing a cheap truck heavy trailer video with this, seeing what we can haul. Which will be a lot of fun. The brakes are very, very bitey. You don't have to press them at very hard at all to slow you down quite sensitive it's kind of hard to get used to the indicators they're blue as well not green which is something to note listen to that Yeah, we're just coming in now. But yeah, I definitely recommend you taking a look at this. It's a lot of fun. It's very, very detailed. Um, perhaps could do with maybe a little bit more customization and fix up some of the textures here and there, like the roof. But other than that, it's a very, very fun truck to um, drive. It's nothing really like anything else. And it's nice to jump in some of the older trucks every so often. I mean, look at the look at the play in the wheel. Still going in a straight line. I have to do so many turns on it. I mean, what's that? Okay, so one, two, two turns. what it's like to reverse with and we should have the new mirrors as well they don't seem to have changed much right, it takes a lot to turn this thing I haven't quite got that it was slightly out Is it taking that? No, nope, it's not taking that. We need to move slightly over. There we go. So, parking brake on. Don't think that's modelled anywhere. No, and engine off. So yeah, as I said, I definitely recommend you taking a look at this truck. It's a lot of fun to drive. If you've enjoyed that video, please do give me a like, subscribe for more, and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.